you probably know Canva. It's a great marketing platform that recently introduced a Canva website design tool. Of course, this piqued my interest. I mean, how would a web builder here even work? Well, let's find out. Hi, I'm Danis from Cyber News and Canva is an Australian graphic designer platform that is used to create social media graphics and presentations. It was established all the way in the early ages of 2012 and until very recently, it was only a marketing platform. Now, Canva is expanding, so let's first talk about price. Now, we need to establish one very important thing. Canva is design focused. I would maybe even call Canva a website designing tool and not a builder in general terms. So when discussing pricing, there are only two plans, the Canva free website and the premium plans. How does that even work? Well, the Canva website design starter plan is actually a fully fledged free website builder. You can start, create a website and publish it on a free domain, all without adding your credit card or paying anything. Sure, you're going to be limited by available design elements and you get only 5 gigabytes of storage space. But let me be honest here, that's still quite a rare and crazy good offer for any small sites or portfolios, making Canva the best free website builder contender. But wait, what's the premium plan? Well, it tackles both of the previous limitations. You unlock all available design elements and your storage space jumps to one terabyte. However, nothing more really changes. Bandwidth is unlimited and there isn't any email service. So if we break down the pricing, Canva Premium costs around $10 to $13 based on if you go with the yearly or monthly subscriptions. Compared to other website builders, it's quite a standard price. Some have cheaper plans, of course, and others can be more expensive. Oh, and one thing I have to give to the Canva website builder, it supports education. If you're a student or a teacher, you can get the premium version of Canva to create more engaging lessons or presentations. For the next part of this video, let's look at how you go about building a Canva website. Canva does something interesting. While they have templates, it also puts a lot of emphasis on mixing and matching your site from scratch. So when starting with Canva, you get a blank canvas. You get the Canva website template selection right here. But here's what I really liked. I've said that you can mix and match your website design with Canva and I meant it quite literally. You can add sections from completely different templates freely. I can go, for example, to this template, select the header I like and place it. Then I can go to a different template and pick the second section from it and so on and so on until you've created a unique website in Canva or perhaps a Frankenstein monster. If you would like a Canva tutorial from me, subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below. So Canva is mostly focused on the design part of, well, designing your website. What it means is that all the elements and tools are mostly for looks. You don't really get standard elements like forms, sliders, or maps. Wait, so how do you add a form or any other feature to your website? Well, Canva solution is you add an app for it. Yeah, there are a lot of apps for basically anything you need for a functioning website. Want to add Google Maps? There's an app for it. Want to have simple registration form? An app. Need an e-commerce integration like Equid? Well, tough luck. There's no such thing here. Now, apps aren't the be all and end all. A lot of builders use some sort of third party integration. But do you know what it means when you need apps for basic functionality? It means you'll need to create accounts on a lot of different services. And when using a web builder, I kind of assumed that I could add a basic form to it without needing to register with some other company. Another small drawback, while you can create a mobile friendly website here, Canva is not that great at it. The templates adapt to different devices to a certain degree, but there is no easy way to customize how your site will look or work on mobile. 
And for any business website, you need to make sure your mobile version looks good. At the same time, the design part is crazy extensive. Drag visual elements wherever you want, add on top of another, drag one half of the screen or add flashing animation. You can add text effects and shapes, you can even just edit images straight in Canva. Anyway, what I'm trying to say with all of this is that I really like the approach that Canva has taken to website building and marketing. It's an extremely extensive platform for designing your brand and content. But at the same time, I see some points of improvement and it's definitely not a builder for e-commerce or more complex projects. In the end, the fact that Canva just recently introduced website building to its platform gives me hope they will just get better and better. Now that we know what the Canva website design tool is and how it works, there's one last question to answer. How fast is Canva website? To set the stage, Google recommends loading under 2.5 seconds for the best search engine optimization. But this is for shared hosting. Website builders tend to be a little bit slower since they also need to load their entire platform. So, for a website builder, I consider fully loading in 3 to 4 seconds to be a great result. I've taken a simple business template, added a few design elements, and ran it through GT Metrics. And I've gotta say, it loaded in 0 0.9 seconds. Uh, <laughs> not gonna lie, that is impressive. And I've tested this straight from the box with the free website plan. For a portfolio or simple Canva landing page, this performance is more than enough. As you can probably get, Canva is faster than most website builders. But at the same time, it's hard to actually compare a website design tool with a full-fledged website builder since it lacks, well, basic functionality. So what I did was add 20 apps to my design and test the same website again. And the results were exactly what I expected. The loading time went up to nearly 4 seconds. That's still not a terrible result, but it shows that making all feature separate apps can cause performance issues. Ultimately, Canva is very fast for a website builder, but it is also a website builder in air quotes, so, you know. Hey there, before we wrap up, how about subscribing to our channel? And if you try Canva, let us know your opinion about it. So honestly, Canva is an interesting website builder. On the one hand, it lacks e-commerce tools, puts most of its features under third-party add-ons, and has limited functionality. But, and this is a big but, you can compare it to a fully-fledged builder. And at the same time, it's one of the most affordable builders for marketing or design with really decent performance and lots of design tools. So, if you want a simple website or create something truly unique, give Canva a chance. It's free. Well, we're at the end of this video. Let's have a chat about the Canva website builder in the comments below. Anyway, if you want to find more reviews or news, you can check out this video right here. And I'll see you all in my next video.